Today, guys, is a very, very big day. Um, I'm super excited, super duper excited. So the trans is here in town. Um, I wanted to leave work early to go get it, but they didn't call me like they were supposed to. But uh, shout out to my homie Mario downtown. He works at, uh, he runs like the Pepsi dis distribution thing and uh, FFE Racing who built the trans. They were like, if you can send this to a business, um, you can save like $150 on shipping. So shout out to him for allowing me to ship that there. Um, it's already ready. They got forklifts there and all that stuff. So I can throw it in the back of the truck and I'll have somebody come by later to help me unload it. But uh, I'm going to get him a bottle of his choice before I run over there and get it um, just for like a thank you. He really hooked me up. I mean, paying what, $30 for a bottle versus an extra $150 for shipping. So um, it seemed like a good trade to me. So we're going to go pick that up. And then uh, here for a while, I've been I've been thinking of different ways to make money on the side. Like I make decent amount of money at my job with bills and this and that, and with the house selling, so many things going on, money going everywhere, especially into this build. This trans, the the build from the bill from FFE alone was like fifty five hundred. Then I had to source my own diff, uh, bell housing, new transfer case. And then seals and all that shit. Everything came out to I think like seventy, uh, all but eight thousand dollars is what I paid to get a new trans, send it out to them, get it built, get the diff, the all the cleaning, everything. So it's like all in all, eight thousand dollars for because of my old differential failing and setting those gears everywhere and locking up the trans. And there was not a single part that we could salvage on that last trans. So kind of sucks I never expected to spend that much money for the trans um, it blows ass <laughs> uh, really tore down my savings a bit I mean I did plan on doing this but it would have costed me a lot less had I been able to use my actual trans um, I mean, it still would have been probably like six thousand dollars but still it sucks anyway so I've been looking at different ways to make money on the side and Obviously, once merch is here, that'll be, you know, money. But most of that money is going to just be reinvested in to get more uh, better quality and a, a better qu quantity of merch. I want to once she's t-shirts sell, you know, obviously it's it's winter time. Um, well, almost winter. So I want to get hoodies. I want to get like I love Chris Webby and I love this beanie, but I want like my own. You know, if I can have my own, why not rock my own? So shirts t-shirts hoodies we'll probably get some mugs and some masks in there um, obviously some stickers uh, other stuff but I found a car for sale um, about a grand It'd be an easy flip drive it around here for a little bit this 7.4 liter truck eats gas down like a m bad real real bad so um, getting another car that I can drive around and just like lightly wrench on no huge maintenance it has some some codes it idles a little funny but it drives just fine I drove it yesterday I think it's uh, somewhere between O2 sensors and MAF uh, probably do a little seafoam cleaning through the injectors do fuel filter oil chain spark plugs coal packs all that stuff coolant flush um, get some good gas in it see how she acts and then get rid of it here in like a month or two um, should be an easy flip and uh, yeah along with merch and uh, getting rid of this house and then having a roommate or moving in with somebody and being a roommate and cut like my monthly spending in half when it comes to housing so <sighs> let's go get this trans <laughs> where my trans got sent shout out to my homie he said the park by the FJ he must love his Toyotas you guys may have seen a super on my channel a couple of times he's got a silver super that makes quite the amount of power and has a very big turbo on it my windows suck but this blue is gorgeous I like that a lot It is. 
did it. And... Well, there's nothing to see right now, but uh, there she is. She's she's here. Um, it actually wasn't heavy at all to pick up. Like I wasn't bad at all. The Christmas tree I got the other day weighed more than that thing. <sighs> all right, so now I got to get back, go get this car, and then. When they come drop off the car, they can help me unload this trans and we can um, take the box off of it and unwrap it and check it out. Um, man, I'm just freaking excited. <laughs> and look what we got here. Oh, my lens is all messed up. Another E46 in the family. Right on. Now, before we unbox this thing, um, man, I've been wanting to get a differential in my trans for a very long time. From the first time I heard about LSD um, and knowing how much, uh, at least my R32 back in the day would understeer at autocross, I wanted one really bad. I never really had the money or a real reason to do it other than I just wanted. But with the trans, the old trans, you know, taking a shit, I had to take the opportunity to get an LLC and then just getting the dog gears and the supports and shift forks and all that on top of it is just a major plus, but also a major dent to my bank account. Like I said, I spent probably close to $8,000 on this. So, boy, and then we still got all the stuff to do on this guy. Um, like I said, I, you guys saw the video, I ordered the rebuild kit. I got all the tools in the box right there that I need finally to get the uh, this cam what is it called? Cambridge thing, seal, holder, whatever it is. Tools to get that off and uh, tools to get the uh, crank pulley off. Now, what's really cool, not cool, but I had my mind going. Like, I could just, with that rebuild kit, like, because I'm leaking oil from this lower timing cover and stuff, and I could just replace the timing chains and guides and the seals, all that shit, toss the motor back together, slap the trans on, put it back in the car, and be driving and like, a week or two like I could but it doesn't make sense to really do that there's no racing right now like there's nothing going on it's cold you can see it. like I can see my breath it's freezing so and there's nothing going on there'd really be no point and I have a whole box of internal so like I could buy another block out of a wreck car and then then I have to buy another rebuild kit and then do all the stuff on the side that like I said there's no real point like at least I mean I no, it's dumb I need to like not talk myself into putting this thing back together just to ride around this trans for a little bit and it's just gonna be cold like it's there's no point anyway well phone call and we'll tear this thing down tell y'all one thing being an adult in school is really gotta do adult things selling this house is like so freaking stressful but i got a closing date so that's nice but i'm excited i mean we're not gonna be able to see anything <laughs> I asked them if they could take pictures of the gears and stuff like that, and they said since it's all like all house, all in house, like hush hush, they weren't able to take any videos or do anything for me. So that that kind of sucks, but I, I mean I totally understand. They got competition, I'm sure, all over the place for gears. And obviously, they want people's business. They have a couple of cars with some nice records. I think in the eights, and they're Mark two or three and stuff like that. I asked them what. How much power these gears are good for, not that I've ever make enough to even consider breaking it. And they had, you said like 1400 wheel is what their car runs on the same gears. So, minus first and second. I think first and second are stock gears, and after that it's three, three, four, five, and six are all dog gears. So, yep. Yep. looks like a transmission to me. I didn't think I'd even be able to go through the gears at all because of uh, not having that. So that's probably shooting the knife around. Um, yeah, looks like a. Uh, I thought they, this part would look newer, like one of the cups. I don't. 
No, exactly. Huh. Interesting. Well, here's a close look. She's cleaned up real nice. I can take this mount off. I can take this shifter off. This will be the first shift, so I don't even know what gears are what, but. Ooh. Kind of hard to do with your left hand, one-handed here. Shouldn't do this too much without having. Oh, yeah, that right there. That's got to be like I think three and four. I think that's reverse. I'm pretty sure that's reverse. All the way up should be one, two, three. Uh, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know how. Well, it does feel good though. It feels really good. Things uh, clean there. Looks like there's a helicoil in there for some reason. I wonder what that's for. Um, yeah. Looks like I'm definitely. I don't have. Oh, I gotta get a new starter. Cause this is from an older car. I gotta remember that. And uh, obviously I need a throw out bearing now. Um, so I gotta remember that. There's like some little shim thing I think that went behind it. I need to order. I was gonna hit up uh, South Bend and get all new hardware and stuff. Um, throw out bearing, whatnot. Dang. All right. I don't remember that, but. Cool. Well, there she is, guys. I mean, I'm sorry it's not nothing too exciting, but it's on the, what's on the inside that counts here. <laughs> but uh, listen, now that I got all the tools, I can start getting this thing disassembled. Um, probably the start on that tomorrow and go into Saturday as long as it takes to get this head off. I wouldn't imagine it'd be just a couple hours. So that's my goal for the weekend. Get this done by Saturday afternoon. Drink a lot of beer Saturday, so um, yeah. Stay tuned for the next one. Sorry if there was a lot of ranting and rumbling around in this one, but uh, a little bit of content for you guys. I mean, this is like a huge, huge piece of the puddle puzzle. This is the piece that started the whole thing. So I'm just glad it's finally all paid for. I don't have to look at that invoice anymore and cry. <laughs> like uh, that part of it's done. We should have a new shifter here very soon, and. Uh, We'll toss that on when we get it just to just to see how she looks. But until the next one, thanks for watching guys. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Shout out to FFE for building trans. And uh catch you on the flip flop.